Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Zeppelin logo. If you don't know what a Zeppelin is, check out my YouTube video on it on my channel. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create an image or a logo. Um, logos tend to work out better, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Nintendo logo, so as you can see, I'm saving the image to my desktop. And after you save the image to your desktop, you can close out of your web browser, open up Photoshop or GIMP, whichever one you have. GIMP is free. Go to File, Open, Open the image you just saved. After you do that, you want to get rid of the background. I use the Magic Eraser tool. If your background is more detailed, you might have to use a different tool. Um, but this happened to be the easiest for my logo. Next thing you want to do is you want to make a new document. The width has to be 120 or smaller. The height must be 40. After you do that, you want to erase that background, then you want to go back to the original document, go to image, image size, and you want to make it the same width you made your new document. And after you do that, you just want to drag your old document to your new document, and then you want to center it. Then you want to go to edit, and then go to free transform, and you want to fit, fit it to the box. And after you do that, you just want to file, save. As you want to apply, you want to make a new folder, name it whatever you want your Zeppelin logo to be named. So I'm just going to name my Nintendo. And after you do that, you want to name it, you want to click into the folder and name it black. And format could be PNG. It must be a PNG file and it must be named black. You want to save it. It's okay. You can exit out of GIMP or Photoshop. And next thing you want to do is you want to click into the Nintendo folder. And you want to copy this five more times so you have a total of six Nintendo pictures or whatever image you made. And then you want to rename them what I renamed mine. So the first one is Black at TX. And the next one is Silver at TX. The one after that is Silver. The next one after this is Etched at TX and the last last one is etched now you can exit out of the folder and now your Zeppelin logo is done L all that's left to do is to open up iPhone box or whatever other file browsing app you have for your iPhone or iDevice and you just have to drag it and drop it into the Zeppelin folder. So I'm using iPhone box. So all you have to do is go to, once this loads up, you want to go to iPhone box classic, find your iPhone or iDevice, go to raw system file, go to library, Zeppelin folder, and then you just want to drag and drop your Nintendo folder in there. And as you can see, there's my Nintendo folder. And now the rest is on the iDevice. So what you're going to want to do is you want to unlock your device and go to settings. And once you're in settings, you want to scroll all the way down to Zeppelin. And then click thingy. And then just find the logo that you just made and apply it. And once you apply it, you can see that it's at the top. I hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.